my name is Elizabeth Kramer, and I would like to share a horror story of mine with you guys. I was about 17 years old at the time, and I was living with my parents. It was a Sunday morning, I remember waking up and feeling ready to work out that day. So I got out of bed, got ready to work out and everything, and I just let my parents know that I was going to go um, a quick walk away just over to the park for my workout that morning. So I let them know where I was going, and I headed out. And the park was just a quick walk from my parents' house. So I got ready to um, go to my workout and cross the street, started my warm-up. Once I was feeling good, feeling ready to run, I went over to the football field. And they have a track that goes all the way around it. So I was going on my run. It was going really well. I went around and around. I was feeling really good about my workout that day. And, you know, I was feeling really satisfied. So I decided I was ready to go back home. I was walking up the hill um, across, back, back to go across the street to my parents' house, and as I was crossing the street, I noticed that my dad was sitting um, on the front step, and he was just kind of enjoying watching all the people walking by around the park and the cars going by, and he noticed me, and he said, finally, you're home. Hey, would you mind moving the car to just to the front of the house? It's about a walk away. I said, yeah, sure, that's fine, just give me the keys. So he gave me the keys, and I walked about a block to where it was parked at the time. And I got in the car, got ready to go, made sure everything was good. And I was all ready to drive. And what I should have done was just do a quick U-E and park in front of the house. However, I was 17 at the time, and you know how 17-year-olds are. I just wanted to go for a little bit of a joyride. I kind of was feeling like a big shot. So I pulled out in the traffic, and it was fine. Saw a red light. Stopped, everything was fine, the light turned green, so off I went. Kept going, hit another red light, waited, everything was fine, just enjoying my ride. Went ahead and pulled through the intersection when it turned green. And then I was right about to turn after the third light turned green, and what did I do? I hit a parked car. So, you know, I was terrified, I was so nervous, I didn't know what to do. So I was ready to back out to check the damage, and I backed into another parked car. And I was freaking out. I had no idea what to do. And someone was yelling at me from the sidewalk. I seriously had no idea. And I was so lucky. The woman behind me got in her car and drove off. So that was a relief. But I pulled out and I pulled in front of the first car that I hit. I needed to check and see if there was any damage. See what was going on with my dad's car. There was just a few scratches in the paint. Nothing, no dents or anything too sufficient. So... Got back in the driver's seat and I was ready to go. And what happens? I see a cop siren. And I'm like, you know, what am I going to do? I've never been pulled over by a cop before. I have no idea what to do. And I was kind of curious as to why the cop pulled me over. I don't know if he saw me hit the parked car or what happened. So anyway, cop got out of his car and walked up to my window and started talking. So I gestured to him, I'm deaf. And he was like, okay, so he gestured back to me for my for me to give me his my license. And I tried to gesture with him, and I said, home, it's at home, it's right, right around the corner, it's right there. And he said, okay, I will follow you. And I said, okay. I was really nervous still, you know, I didn't know what to do. What is my dad going to say? What's going to happen? So I was a little bit relieved when he turned the lights on the cop car off because everyone in the neighborhood was looking at me. I was pretty embarrassed. And so we went about a block to my house and I parked the car and right as we arrived outside my house he turned the lights on again and my dad saw the lights and he was wondering what's going on so he came outside and you know I was still just so